Hello there everybody and welcome back to One Punch Man Destiny, my favorite game on Roblox. So anyway, today we're gonna check out the top awakening abilities in this game. Now there's four classes that have really distinct and really really good uh, awakenings and we're gonna check them out in this video. So definitely leave it a like and subscribe to the channel, it would definitely help out a lot. And at the same time, I'm gonna try to level up quite a bit, maybe get to level 7000. I don't know if I can do that, but we'll see. So yeah, enjoy the video. Alright guys, so I'm gonna go through the best awakening classes in this game. Now, I'm gonna use the Phoenix instead, although it's not any of the best ones that I have here on my list. Uh, but if you want to see the awakening abilities of this specific class, go check out my last video because I do talk about it there. And yeah, it's overall a good video. Alright, so first off we have the Esper class. Now the awakening ability for the Esper class is actually 50% increased critical. So basically you're gonna do critical damage and that means a lot more damage. So yeah, definitely one of the best. Now I haven't used the Esper class in a big while because I unlocked the Phoenix one. But I did enjoy it at the beginning. If you want to see those videos also, you should go check them out. Because they are fun videos to see the beginnings of this channel. And yeah, that's it. The Esper class overall is also a really good class. The movement ability is the fly, which is the best one. A lot of different attack abilities. And yeah, overall a great class. Okay, so you might have noticed this guy right here. He's a dark Esper. So the Dark Esper also has a pretty good awakening ability. Now what it does is 40% damage boost and 20% damage reduced. So that will help you out in boss fights and anything like you wanna like get reduced damage, basically don't die. And 40% damage boost is quite a lot. It is quite a lot and it's a good combo with damage reduction. So I would definitely recommend it. And yeah, how much health is left Boros? Come on, you gotta die bro. Uh, let's see, I'm getting close just to see. Okay, okay, we can beat him. Okay, I'm gonna do my... Oh my god, so much. I gotta go back up. Gotta go back up. Oh my god, I'm so slow. <laughs> okay, great. Come on, die, man, die. You gotta die, bro. Come on. He. Oh, he. this is the final phase, though. So we gotta be careful with this phase, specifically. Specifically, I can't talk today. What's going on? Damn, that's crazy. Okay, he's just shooting at everyone. Kind of mean, but uh, that's fine, I guess. Uh, no, 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 I don't want to miss. Look at that. It's, it's, it seems like I'm peeing or something. Uh, now, Boros is one of the... Whoa, look at my health. Oh, my God. That's insane. Why is it so hard to kill Boros? Just die. Stop running from him. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Boros? Is he dead? He's not dead. I didn't finish my quest. Oh yeah, I did finish. Oh, okay. Alright. Level 6,759. What was that? Anyway, that was weird. Uh, you can do this, by the way. Just a quick tip for new players. Boom! Alright. So anyway, uh, that's it for Boros. Let's go grind some other guy. Alright, so let's continue. Next up we have uh, the ninja class, which is the best awakening for uh, movement abilities. So basically you get 25% speed increase, 15% uh, dodge, and 10% damage boost. So a little bit of damage boost as well. But that's why I added it on this list, because it's one of the best movement ones. So if you're looking into that type of class, uh, it's definitely worth checking it out. And the next class that we have is actually the Watchdog class. Now, not a lot of people enjoy the Watchdog class, but it's actually quite strong if you know how to use it well. And what the Awakening does is instead of 40% damage boost like the Dark Esper and something else, you actually have a full 50% damage boost for this class. And that is quite insane. It's a big number and definitely one of the best ones. But I don't know, I just don't, I'm not good with the Watchdog class. I've used it many times before. Like, I don't know, I tried to kill enemies with the Watchdog class, but there's no long range attacks. You really have to be high damage to be good with that class. But if you're high damage and even with the high damage plus the awakening, 50% damage increase, you're going to be basically Saitama from One Punch Man. 
Why I do enjoy the Phoenix class more than anything else is just because of the movement ability plus all the damage that you can do. But there's a lot of good classes in this game. I know a lot of people really enjoy uh, the ninja class as well, which is not even that rare. So you really have gotta find your playstyle in this game and just uh, roll with it, so yeah. When is he gonna respawn? I don't even know actually. It's a bit weird. I don't remember the delays between bosses being so like... Oh, there he is, okay. I'm gonna grab the quest, I know he's gonna try to kill me, that is fine because I'm super fast, so grab the quest, and run away, I said run, oh my god, okay good, jeez, Whoa. are you stuck on the tree, you're stuck on the tree man, what are you doing, stop hugging the, tr hey, 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 getting to my target, okay good, I got like two hits, not the best, I know, but I'm trying, okay guys, I'm actually trying, I'm not a noob, I promise, uh, okay, that guy does a lot of damage, I think. So I gotta be careful, I gotta do some damage me too. Because if not, it's gonna be a problem, I'm not, I'm not gonna get any XP. There's a lot of videos on this channel giving really good tips to play this game and you should definitely go check out. Like I said, there's so many good tips to even begin this game or even like... Even if you're advanced, I talk about all the classes that you can use, all the abilities. Uh, tips how to kill bosses even if you're like lower level there's just a lot of stuff you can go check out now in terms of awakenings I do think the dark esper has the best one because I know that 40% damage boost is less than the watchdog but at the same time you get also 20% damage reduction which is quite insane if you ask me oh my god so I got disconnected but anyway we got to level 6900 which is pretty insane we did talk about all the awakenings that are the best, so yeah, definitely leave this video a like and subscribe to the channel. Like I said, it will help me out a lot. And with that said, I appreciate all of you guys and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye guys!